I don't have all your nationalities on here, but we have red is China, and in this case, Switzerland, based on this tool. Now, all I'm asking you to look at is not the individual uh, dimensions, but it's to really look at potential, look at the gaps. You know, you've got here the space, yeah, public, private. This is very private, this is public. Use of time, time span, fate, rules, big gap here. Yeah. And this is based on lots of surveys, etc. This, this, this instrument here. Power, you know, so the Swiss follow rules, Chinese tend to bend them. Power, this is quite hierarchical. Yeah, you know, in Switzerland, you tend to follow what the superior says, here very much so. Responsibility, I can take initiative. Individualistic, task, relationship, indirect, uh, direct communication, indirect communication. Conflict in Switzerland, we, don't, we avoid it more than in some other nationalities. Here, you don't want to have direct conflict necessarily. Problem solving driven by values versus by logic. Okay? I'm going to show you a couple more nationalities. Any questions, surprises, comments? I know it's getting close to noon and tummies are getting hungry. Germany. So flip back so you can compare. Yeah. So Germany, you have a lot more, even sometimes potentially even bigger gaps here, right? France, very different picture. Okay. Italy, I don't think there was anyone Italian, Italian in the room, right? No. Okay. So what this shows you, and this is where I would ask you to have a look quickly, is you know your where are you? Where did you gauge yourself? Versus um, versus China, and that's for you know just just to get a sense. But it's just to be a little bit more aware of where you come from. Just to know that is sometimes useful. That there are these dimensions is useful, because obviously in the type of training that we do or work we do, we work with this a little bit. But it doesn't mean when you walk into a room, all the Italians are going to be because if you compare, you know, if I go back to Switzerland, those of you who are Swiss will not agree with all of this and say, no, no, I see myself differently. Of course, because we're individuals. But there's that generalization piece. Okay? This, very quickly. Has any of you seen this before? Have you all seen it? Who hasn't seen this? Okay. I think it's a brilliant piece of artwork. It's a graphic designer, a Chinese graphic designer. And I don't think the pointer brings the oh, it does. Perfect. Um, she has compared Germany with China. I think it's, you know, in a really sleek, elegant way, primarily showing differences again. This is opinion, you know, you're sharing your opinion. Straight line Germany, you know, the direct and direct communication. Lifestyle. Punctuality. Having said this, for meetings in China, be sure you're punctual. Contacts. Anger. You know, what do you show? Is that you see you don't necessarily always show it? <laughs> Queuing. I'm sure you heard about how they had to learn how to queue in China for the Olympics. <laughs> Individualism, you know, this is I. Um, Sundays on the road. I have a lot of Chinese, when I come to Switzerland, they're like, oh my god, at night there's nothing happening, on Sundays there's nothing happening, party, yeah, in the restaurant, the noise level, um, what do you drink when you have a tummy ache, um, when you travel, these are stereotypes, huh? but if there's a little bit of truth to these. You give your ideal beauty. Yeah. At one point, I, when I went back to Taiwan on holiday to visit my parents, I was white and slightly fat over winter, and they said, oh, you're so pretty, so white and fat. And I thought, God, that's the last thing I want to be, but you know. <laughs> um, how you deal with problems. And three meals of the day, yeah. something to you know, but not so common here. Um, transport, <laughs> which 
is changing <laughs> a problem. This, you know, um, the older generation, much more involved in the, in the Chinese culture. Uh, this is an interesting one. It's, I find it so true. When do you take a shower? In the mornings and at night. Don't ask me why. I haven't quite figured that one out. Because the, um, we tend to talk a lot about the weather and how that influences us. Somehow there's a little bit less of that. It might have to do with the sleep. You just work with what is in life. The boss. Yeah. Trends. I personally think that's a little bit unfortunate. I love Chinese food. <laughs> uh, the child, yeah, center of the family. Uh, novelties. Okay, you, you look at it from a distance, whereas you, you work, play with it. And um, this is speaking to how you imagine the other culture. You know, if you're stereotyping. <laughs> yeah, I think that's